Hey guys, GP Mushrooms here, and I want to show you guys how to make yourself a fruiting chamber for your house. Uh, I need a bigger one, of course. Uh, right now, this block is on its third flush of mushrooms. But I do have other blocks that I do need to go in. They're ready to fruit. They're starting to produce. So I need a bigger tub and more space. So let's do this. Alright guys, as you can see, I already started on this tub here. Uh, it's a 76 quart tub. It's definitely tall enough for the mushrooms to grow, plenty of space. And it's big enough for approximately four, possibly five blocks, but five blocks would probably be pushing it. And uh, as you can see, I already uh, started doing the holes. What I, I, I usually like to do is make things look nice. So I did use a ruler, and I started putting some dots on here, one inch apart. But you really don't necessarily have to do that. You can just go ahead and just randomly put a bunch of holes in there. Uh, and what I like to use is a solder gun. Now let me switch hands here. All right. I mean, it's way better than the drill. It's definitely more efficient. I mean, you can really just knock out a bunch of holes. See? But if you do go this route, I do recommend that you, uh, you know, do it outside or do it with a fan facing outside. Some place where you get plenty of ventilation. I guess, uh, you know, you don't want to inhale a bunch of plastic smoke. It's definitely not healthy, I'm sure. But I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the holes in my tub and we will pick up from there. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the holes all the way around this, all the way around the tub. Not necessarily all the way down to the bottom, you know. I kept probably a good three inches away from the bottom. But she looks good and she's ready to go. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put the fan on the lid and put a dead center. And what I'm going to use for that is a, uh, a hole saw. I believe this is a two inch hole saw. Uh, it's perfect for my fans. And uh, I do sell these parts on uh, gpmushrooms.com if you guys are wondering. I also do sell mushroom kits. Uh, for unbeatable prices, I'll tell you that right now. If you guys compare my prices to any other people selling mushroom blocks, I have them all beat. So let's go ahead and finish this tub, all right? Now, all right, guys, if you're going to use this hole, hole saw to drill your hole, when you're doing it, make sure when you're going forward, just go down far enough to where it hits the plastic. And then once the saw hits the plastic, you got to turn it in reverse, okay? And then that'll cut the, you know, cut a smoother hole in your plastic. Now let's go ahead and put the fan on. Of course, make sure your fan's blowing the right way. You know, I, I use a, I usually use this USB USB cords, you know, or you know, plug-in fans, I guess you could say. And uh, of course, I made sure I, I knew which direction the air was blowing because you want it to blow down inside the tub. Now, usually in most cases, all I do is use a glue gun, but since I'm out of glue, I'm going to go ahead and use this Ultra Clear. Uh, you know, it's like caulking, it's flexible, it's all purpose, works on everything really. And uh, I'll put some on each corner, you know, where the screw holes are. Alright, now I'm going to place it, making sure the cord's facing in the direction I'm on, most likely want it to face. And I'm going to put it right above the hole. Like I said, make sure it's blowing down. This stuff, work, this stuff, this adhesive works really well. It really does. Uh, it's just as good as a glue gun, but a glue gun dries faster. So, now what else I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little bead of this stuff on the edges. You know, I actually do have a little bit of a gap here. And it'll hold it better. So, you know, you can thrash your lid around if you have to. But this stuff really works well. It's going to hold it in place really well. Alright, now I'm going to let it dry. Alright guys, here we go. I went ahead and transferred my pond fogger into my tub with my little tanner water and I got my fan on already now I do have it to uh, the timer as you can see half hour on half hour off uh, it seems to give it plenty of fresh air and uh, plenty of humidity 
and then I'm going to plug this in and show you guys uh, what we made. Well, it's looking really good. There we go. The mushrooms will be happier now. Get some good airflow, some good humidity. And that little container in the corner is just a little experiment that I'm doing. And like I said, this little block here is only, uh, it's going in its third flush, you know. Uh, first flush is always bigger, the second one's pretty good. And then when you get your third and your fourth, it starts slowing down a bit. But now I got a tub big enough for four blocks, possibly five. And uh, like I said, this is real easy to do. And you can find all the parts on gpmushrooms.com, as well as my mushroom kits. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.